Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's been two weeks since the uh, Treasury Board President was taken down to the Auditor General's Principal's Office, and he's been hiding his, under his desk ever since. We now know why. There's a criminal investigation into how $50 million was diverted into his writing. I'd suggest the RCMP read the Auditor General's report, which lays out in excruciating detail how the three amigos, the mayor, the hotel manager, and the minister, diverted money for these dubious pork barrel projects. So my question to the missing member from Muskoka, isn't it time to come clean in this house? Another day, Mr. Speaker, and another public relations stunt uh, uh, from the opposition. Let's look at uh, what the Auditor General said when he released his report. And I'll remind you, Mr. Speaker, the Auditor of Parliament mandated uh, to report to this House. Quote, no evidence to suggest there was a deliberate attempt to mislead. Quote, I am not aware of any specific law that was broken, Mr. Speaker. The Auditor General has made some fair observations about the process with which the estimates are presented to this House and how grants and contribution programs can be administered. We fully accept uh, that good counsel and will be following it uh, in the future. I'd like to quote the man who's uh, disappeared in this house who said yesterday at committee that it was factually incorrect to say that money was diverted. Well, the page 37 of the Auditor General's report clearly contradicts him. So if he wants to take that up with the cops, I'm sure it's going to be very well for him. But I would like to say this to this house. If he gets away with this $50 million scheme, then start counting your spoons and silverware, dear public, because they've just given this man the keys to the Treasury Board. with uh, great uh, interest uh, to the uh, comment made by the uh, member opposite. I didn't hear a question, though. Yeah. Okay. Honourable member.